Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken, and today's experiment is the shiny penny. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is vinegar, pennies, a nail, a screw, and a bowl. Starting off with our bowl, we're going to take some vinegar, um, and we're going to use three-quarter cup of vinegar, and we're going to put that into the bowl. And then we're going to take our regular house salt, and we're going to uh, put in three teaspoons of salt, uh, add that in, and then we're going to stir that until the salt is completely dissolved. Now we're going to add our pennies, just regular 12 pennies around the house, anything co copper coin. Uh, take one of the pennies out and uh, put it in the liquid about halfway dipped in. And we're going to hold that for about 10 or 15 seconds. Uh, you can already see the penny starting to get clean. Uh, right there and then once we get that out we're going to pull it up and yep the vinegar and salt will clean your pennies so uh, we have that there we're going to start to put them in um, put the rest of the pennies in and we're going to keep them in the solution for five minutes and then we're going to take half of them out and leave the other f ten of them in for another five minutes total ten minutes so uh, go ahead and put the, all those in and uh, you know separate them out if you like uh, so they're not touching and now it's been five minutes and I'm pulling out half the pennies and uh, I'm going to clean the, rinse these off. So we're going to take these pennies, collect them up, and then we're going to rinse them off. All right, so now we have our pennies removed. Uh, the first ten, we're going to rinse them off in water and lay them out onto a paper towel to dry. And then we're going to compare them with the other ten pennies we're going to take out in a couple minutes from now. Back to the bowl with the vinegar and salt, I added two nails and a screw with the pennies. And I'm going to let those sit for another five minutes. If you look close, you're going to notice the screw has bubbles coming off it. Each water molecule is made up of two hydrogen atoms and an oxygen atom. In the liquid, we have vinegar, an acid, which has lots of hydrogen ions that are floating around. In the chemical reaction of the surface of the screw, there are some hydrogen ions joining the form hydrogen gas. The bubbles that you see coming off the screw are made of the hydrogen gas. I took out the other pennies and did not rinse these off on the left and let them sit for about an hour. The vinegar and salt dissolve the copper oxide layer, which makes it easier for the copper atoms to join the oxygen and the chlorine from the salt to make a blue-green compound called mylachite. Where the pennies that we first rinsed off does, do not have the vinegar and salt compound, so they do not react and stay shiny. You'll notice the nail and the screw are coated with copper. This happens because the atoms are made up of even smaller particles called protons, neutrons, and electrons. The electrons and the protons are both electrically charged particles. Electrons are negatively charged and protons are positively charged. The negative charges attract the positive charges, so the electrons are attracted to the protons. The negative charges in the nail attract the positive charges in the liquid. Both the iron ions and the copper ions are positively charged. The copper ions are more strongly attracted to the negative charge than the iron ions. So they will stick to the negatively charged nail, forming a coat of copper on the steel. When you put the steel nail into the mixture, some of the iron dissolves, like the copper atoms. Each of the iron atoms that dissolve leave two electrons behind. So you have a positively charged iron ions floating in your vinegar with the positive charged copper ions. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. Thanks for watching.